the astronomy and space science gallery is to be built at Gujarat Science City in Ahmedabad. The master plan comprises of one hectare hexagonal shaped parcels with each exhibit gallery occupying a hexagon. The proposed site is centrally located within the phase two of Science City with planet Earth, aquatics gallery and other phase one galleries towards the north. The design for the gallery is inspired by the solar system, the sun and the movement of the eight planets around it and the different sizes and characteristics of each planet. The building is imagined as an abstract model of the solar system. The planetarium is the heart of the museum, located in the center. Outer squares planned around the planetarium combined to form the exhibit galleries. The exhibit galleries are lifted above ground to create a sense of motion and movement, freeing up the ground floor for all the public activities. The final build form incorporates other programmatic requirements including the observatory located in the tower and offering a view to the sky. The cuboid composition with the planetarium sphere hovering inside is seen in contrast to the circular flowing form of the aquatics gallery. The visitors approach the building from the north with the entrance facing the planet Earth and the aquatics gallery. The observatory tower, entrance plaza, water feature and the celestial globe mark the entrance. The landscape around the building gently slopes up towards the building and features prominent space science related exhibits such as space shuttle and other exhibits. The building orientation is planned so that it is multifaceted and is inviting from all sides. The cantilevered masses give the building its dynamic form and a sense of motion when one walks around. As the visitors make their way from planet Earth towards the building, the planetarium is visible thereby increasing their curiosity to enter and explore. The internal street extends forming the arrival plaza and then leading to the central atrium. One arrives into the central atrium, the heart of the museum, where the planetarium hovers in mid-air, creating multi-purpose public space on the ground floor. Non-exhibit related activities are located on the ground floor. One also encounters key exhibits such as the Foucault pendulum, orrery, photo booth etc. on this floor. From the atrium, visitors enter the intro projection hall for an orientation after which one goes on to the first floor which is the main exhibit floor. A scaled model of the solar system with the planetarium depicted as the sun is displayed. The circulation corridor also acts as an informal exhibit area. Activities such as the administrative offices, workshop, temporary exhibition space, library, 5D theatres, cafe, storage and services are located on the ground floor. The main exhibit galleries are located on first floor. The exhibit galleries are categorized as the past, present and the future of the space science. Each gallery is also divided into sub-zones. Interactive galleries are on the second floor. The gallery is devoted to the achievements of India in space science. And the observatory is on the top floor. The planetarium is accessed at the second floor level. The visitors start their tour from the past gallery which focuses on the universe, its origin and the earliest ways in which we started to study it. One starts at the orientation hall with introductory video on the origins of the universe and other key facts.
The next zone is dedicated to the exploration of the universe as seen with the naked eye. Here one can examine sundial shadows and other ancient astronomical instruments. The next zone is dedicated to exploration of the universe with telescope and spectroscopy. Key exhibits include space observatory models, glowing gases and infrared radiation. One of the key exhibits is the icy body with the holographic projection system. In the present gallery, one will see the ways that we reached out to touch the stars and planets above us. The visitors are first introduced to key aspects and details of our galaxy. The next zone is dedicated to the exploration of universe in modern times. In this zone, the development of early rockets is also chronicled within a moon diorama. The next zone includes exhibits related to the modern day achievers in space science, satellites, space probes and launch vehicles. In the future gallery, one will look at where the future of space travel could take us, including its risks and rewards. After the introductory zone in the manned space flight zone, here one can experience different phenomena as an astronaut will experience in the space. The next zone is dedicated to the future of space science. The visitors can experience space vehicles and mission control center. Health and science zone focuses on physiological, psychological and scientific experience of an astronaut. The next gallery is dedicated to the achievements of Indian space science. The gallery will feature many milestones that have been achieved by the country. The VR gallery is dedicated to providing virtual training experience for space flight and flight navigation experience. From here, the visitors will go to the 200-seat, state-of-the-art planetarium. The visitors will then go to the theatre, screening videos and feed from NASA and other space stations. From here, the visitors go to the solar gallery, depicting various solar phenomena and the effects of the sun. The gallery will also include fixed-assembly solar telescope one will be able to observe the projection on a digital screen. The last stop will be the observatory with retractable dome, a truly out-of-the-world experience, where one will be able to see the stars, planets and other distant worlds. In conclusion, the design for the Astronomy and Space Science Gallery promises a wonderful journey of learning discovery and enjoyment through amazing exhibits as one easily navigates through the architecture of galleries